Welcome to your love reading for July 6th through the 12th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Since this is a love reading, I do recommend checking your Moon and Venus signs as well, as they may resonate better for you in a love reading than your Sun sign. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every Leo out there. You're not all living the same lives. If it doesn't resonate, just check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here. Okay, here we go, Leo. If you're looking for just a general reading, those are posted monthly. I'll try to link it to the end, but if I don't have time, just head back to the channel for that one. All right, Leo. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys can hear me since I brought you outside today. Overall energy for Leo. The Empress Reverse. Um, so you're probably not gonna be able to see these when I lay them down since I am out here, but I will show them all to you as I read them. Recent past for Leo. Five of Wands reversed. Present energy for Leo. Death reversed. Okay, just right, right off the bat, guys. Um, I just did Taurus. And you came up in their reading twice and they also had death reversed in there. So if you're dealing with a Taurus, you might want to check out their reading. If you have Taurus in your chart, you might want to check out their reading. Immediate future for Leo. Five of Pentacles reverse. Potential obstacle for Leo. Oh. King of Cups reversed. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, Leo, so for me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for. It would be the energy that you yourself are taking on during this week in love. Everything else here is interchangeable. It can be for you, the person you're dealing with, outside influences, all that kind of thing, okay? All right, so you yourself are in this Empress reversed energy, and I feel like you guys might have had this in your last reading as well. I'm not sure, though, so you might want to check. But, um... With the Empress Reverse here, there's some is issues with your Divine Feminine. Either yourself or the person you're dealing with, it doesn't matter. But either way, um, there's a lack of growth, there's a lack of expansion. If there's pregnancy possibilities here, there might be some issues there. Um, not trying to scare anybody, just something to be aware of. But definitely not seeing any type of growth, not seeing any type of expansion, kind of stuck. Maybe feeling not so abundant. Clarify the Empress Reverse for Leo. The Four of Pentacles Reverse. Okay, well, um, while you aren't feeling like things are growing, expanding the way that you want them to, you're not holding back either. Um, like, you're open to whatever. Whatever you want to happen in this relationship. You're open, you're emotionally available, you're not cut off, and you're probably letting go of something, whether it's a belief system or an actual person. Um, it's a letting go of something that you might have previously been holding on to really tightly. Hey, Leah, what's up? Sorry I had to pause you guys. It got really loud out here. Hopefully you can't hear the music. I'm out by the pool, so hopefully you can't hear it because then you won't be able to hear any of my video. Anyway, your recent past. Five of Wands reverse fire, so you as well as Aries and Sagittarius is disconnecting from petty drama. Um, if there was any previous jealousy or competition, there isn't any more. You're just leaving the drama behind, right? Um, and this energy now can be for you, the person you're dealing with, your surrounding energies, all that good stuff, right? Okay, so now in your present, you have death reversed. Um, Sorry about that again, guys. Okay, so your current energy, death reverse Scorpio energy. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're probably not in a very good state of mind since they are reverse. Either way, death reverse. Somebody's re resisting an ending here or a change. All right, something here needs to end or completely turn around and somebody's resisting it or you have somebody coming back that you previously ended things with. Clarify death reverse for Leo. Oh, the Five of Wands. You have that re reversed in your past, but now you have it upright in your present. So it looks like that drama that you left behind is coming up. It's happening again. 
here comes the drama. It's coming back. The competition, the jealousy, the petty back and forth. It's back. Somebody's not trying to let something go. There's an issue here that caused a lot of drama and somebody's just trying to hold on to it and, and not let it go and I don't think that it's you. Clarify the Five of Wands for Leo. Oh, nice. The Devil Reverse Capricorn Energy. You could be in some sort of a drama with a Capricorn and a Scorpio. Um, either way, though, it's a releasing of toxicity, right? Releasing toxic energy, um, any fear-based patterns, any behavior patterns that are based in fear, lust, obsessiveness. It's being released. Like, somebody here is really trying to release themselves from some toxic drama, some arguing. Some, it's just constant arguing somebody's not about it and trying to release themselves from it and the other person is trying to keep them in this drama and I think it's I think you're the one that is releasing yourself with this four pentacles reversed up here I think you're the one that's trying to let it go and somebody else is just trying to keep it going you know some people are like that they just like drama clarify the devil reverse for Leo the hermit you could be dealing with a Virgo You've got one, two, three, four, four majors here. So I couldn't possibly pick a sign for you, but your majors, you have Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Virgo. Um, anyway, so with the Hermit energy here for Virgo, I mean, you could be dealing with a Virgo that's trying to keep you in this toxic drama and trying to really hold on to it tightly, and you're just like, uh-uh, I'm not having it. Um, but either way, with the hermit energy, it's a need to self-isolate, um, you know, to gain some wisdom, to process, to think things out, you know, go into meditation, you know what I mean? Um, it's a very wise energy, and that's what you would be best doing right now to just kind of close yourself off from the drama. Just go within yourself, go into hermit mode, close yourself off for a while so that this can all be released, you know? All right, in your present, you have the Five of Pentacles reversed. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This, again, it's somebody coming back that you previously rejected, that you previously let go of or tried to. You might have even been living together and you left them or they left you. Um, somebody here is definitely trying to keep somebody in something and the other person wants out of it. Okay. Clarify the Five of Pentacles reversed. Page of Wands reversed. All right, you might have to block communication with them. If you don't want to deal with them in their drama, you might actually have to block them. Block them on your social media, block them on your phone, because they're definitely still trying to come back and hang around. And it might only be for sex purposes. It's very immature energy with the Page of Wands reversed. All right, your potential obstacle. You have the King of Cups reversed. So this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There could be like an emotionally unavailable water sign that's a problem in your relationship. Or it's just this, it's this kind of energy of being really emotionally out of whack, emotionally immature, unavailable, dramatic as hell, um, emotionally manipulative. So watch out for that. All right, what are you hoping for in love, Leo? What is Leo hoping for in love? Death, Scorpio energy. You could be hoping for a Scorpio. You have Scorpio twice here, but I think that you're just hoping for it to end. You just want it to stop. You just want it to be done. And somebody's kind of not letting that happen. Clarify death for Leo as a hope. Clarify death for, oh my gosh, Leo. Okay, well, we got two. We got the Queen of Swords. And we got the Queen of Wands here. You might be dealing with two people and you want it to end with one of them. Um, but as hopes here, right? Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Queen of Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. So there might be two different people here. You might want it to end with one of them. Or you might be dealing with someone that's dealing with two people. And you want them to end it with one of their people. Um, but you do have two queens here, so 
maybe that's relevant in your world but you could you could also just be hoping to take on those qualities you know to use with your head or let use with your head what the actual hell um think with your head and not your emotions you're trying to be smart about the situation and you're trying to still keep your confidence up work on your self-image you know work on cutting out anything in your life that doesn't serve you with this death card here and the queen of swords anything that's not real anything that's not true anything that might you know hurt your self-image your self-worth you're trying to get rid of that it, somebody's definitely trying to keep it keep it there though not let you not let you leave basically all right what are you afraid of leo what is leo afraid of The Seven of Swords. You're afraid of being lied to. You're afraid of being deceived. This is a very deceptive energy. It's a shady person. Um, so you're either afraid of somebody lying to you or you're afraid of your lies coming out. Um, <coughs> no shade, guys. I'm just reading it like I see it. But you're afraid of deception here, basically. You're afraid of being cheated out of something. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Leo. Justice, Libra energy. You might be afraid that a Libra is deceiving you, that a Libra is lying to you. Remember, you have Libra energy in your overall as well, but that is your overall energy. Um, but with justice here, you might be afraid that, you know, things are not going to be equal and balanced because somebody is deceptive here and you know it. And you can't, things can't be balanced and, and harmonious if there's deception involved. So this is a really heavy reading, guys. You have so many majors here. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six majors so far. All right. Advice for Leo in love. Advice for Leo in love. the nine of wands this is a wounded warrior card um so as an advice card you can persist and you can fight this all you want but eventually you know you're gonna get tired you're almost at the end of your rope you you're gonna you're like on the verge of giving up if it's if it's too heavy for you you know if it's too much you don't want to fight for it anymore it's just too heavy it's too burdensome it's too much fighting then it's okay to give up like it is you have to take care of yourself right all right, let's clarify. One more advice for Leo. Advice for Leo in love. Ah. Nine of cups reverse. So this is my only nine of cups in all of my decks where, sh where the chick is pregnant. Um, and you do have the empress reverse here. So now you have both of these pregnant ladies reverse. So there might be um, pregnancy issues here. But with the nine of cups reversed either way, it's a lack of wish fulfillment. It's discontentment. Um, so what you need to focus on here is releasing yourself from a situation if it's too heavy for you. I don't care how bad the person tries to get you to stay. If it's too much for you, it's too much for you and you have to let it go. Um, and you have to work on finding your happiness within yourself and not looking for it in another person because that's not, that's not going to work. You know, you can't, ultimately you are the one that makes yourself happy. And I think that's why the hermit's here for you to go within and kind of figure out what it is that makes you happy, you yourself, apart from everyone else. That doesn't mean that you have to be single, you know, but you do need to find that within yourself in order to have a healthy relationship, right? All right, take care, Leo.